Hello everyone, welcome to the explanation. So today I will be covering the portion of e-governance, subject e-governance and we were in chapter 2. So today I will be covering towards good governance through e-governance models. Okay, so we have covered all the topics before this and you can check in our YouTube video or the playlist. So I have put all the content or all the notes for this uh, syllabus in this site that is ejexplanation.com. Here you can go to the course portion and there we have got e-governance subject where you can find all the notes. So I will be discussing about towards e-governance, uh, towards good governance through e-governance. Okay. So what is good governance? First of all, good governance means that it is a type of governance which is very practical for the citizens to use. So it's not only that we can implement e-governance and work. It's very important that that e-governance model or the e-governance project or the system should be very practical. It should be very easy to use. It should be transparent. It should be citizen centric. It should be easy for all the citizens to use that service. So that is called good governance. Okay. So what are the various strategy or what are the various principles through which we can see how we can achieve good governance via or with the e-governance how we can achieve the good governance. Okay. Some of the point from this are first is transparency. So transparency means that all the data that the government is using or all the data of the government is accessible and transparent to the citizen or to the public. Okay, so this what does it do is it this helps the citizen to understand the government activities very carefully. Second one is efficiency and streamlined process. Okay, so in order to implement e-governance, we should automate all the processes, that is the administrative processes. For example, if you go to any office, they are using pen and paper or pen and register. Instead of that, if you use machines or automated products, what it does is, it first is it reduces the time, it means that it reduces the delay, we can say, and also it minimizes human error like spelling mistakes or calculation of marks or anything it can be. Third point is citizen centric service. It means that whatever services we are using, whatever the system we are e-governance system using, it should be very user friendly. It means that it should be simple, accessible and inclusive. Fourth one is participation and collaboration. Okay, so we should implement online platform or online system that which encourages the citizens to participate okay so for that we should include public opinion or citizens opinion and also we should include this type of systems in various projects next is security and data privacy okay so if you are using internet facility if you are using an internet or a system that is using internet or if you are accessing anything or if you are providing any data on internet it's very important that it should be secure so this should, uh, government should Im implement a very good cyber security measures or security measures in order to prevent it from the hacker or unauthorized accesses. Next one is capacity building and training. Okay, so in order to use the system, in order to know what is the system, the government it should provide the this digital literacy training to various employees, its employees, so that they will know how to use the system and hence it will move toward the good governance last one is feedback mechanism okay so there should be a proper feedback mechanism from the citizen so that government will know that whether they are citizen are using the system properly or not what are the various improvement that need to be done okay so these are the various uh, points for good governance okay so one question it can come from this uh, topic also okay so in next video i'll be discussing about the important question from chapter 2 i think i've also not discussed important question from chapter 1 so i'll be discussing both chapters questions uh, till then stay safe and thank you